YouTube. So today I'm going to be trying to do a quick review of uh, this speaker that I bought uh, about three days, three or four days before I left for Dominican Republic. It is the Avalon waterproof Bluetooth speaker with bicycle clip. Now when you open this box, you get um, the bicycle clip. You get a little baby carabiner clip and a suction cup that you can use. You can remove it. Ugh, maybe. In theory, you should be able to remove it. Ah! Remove. <laughs> it's removable if you don't want to use it. Also, this is where you would put on the bike clip. Why did I slide that back in? Okay. Bike clip on. Awesome! Yay! It's great! It was $7.99 on Amazon and I bought it from an Amazon seller not directly from Amazon that was my first mistake um, excellent electronics they sell stuff uh, electronics on Amazon and I was excited because it was $7.99 I've been looking for a Bluetooth speaker for a while and had been cost had been an issue so I was super excited about <coughs> oh, excuse me. I was super excited about um, finding this speaker and when I first received it, I had no issues for about the first month, maybe the first five weeks. I had no complaints. I would charge it, I would use it. It was great. I turned it off. Battery life was great. And unfortunately, in the last two weeks, I've begun to have issues with it. Now, where the issue comes in. After having this fully charged, I went ahead about two weeks ago and had not used it since its last charge. And I went to use it while I was getting ready for school. And there was a lot of grainy sounds, a lot of kind of white noise, a lot of interruptions. And the, music's were being, the music was being really choppy. And it, I, that, 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 like this. So, just imagine, I cannot enjoy a song when it is being chopped up like that. So, I put it back on the charger and went to school, came home, hooked it up again to the Bluetooth, uh, with the Bluetooth to my phone, and there was a little bit of disruption in the communication, but I could still hear the song a lot better than I had in the morning. <coughs> My God, someone is either gossiping about me or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so then it happened again. Then it happened again. Then I was starting to be really un displeased with it. And I started purposely testing it out to see how it was lasting. Its basic cycle right now is I charge it overnight, use it for about 30 minutes in the morning while I'm getting ready for school, turn it off go to school around a quarter to nine, get back from school between 2.30 and 2.45, and it has already lost its charge, to, and when I try to hook it up to my phone to listen to music, it does the grainy, it has the disruptions, and it's chopping up the words, so I'm not able to use it. So I hook it up, let it charge again, the charging light turns off, um, with enough time for me to maybe use it for 30 minutes before it's time to go to bed and I go to bed I turn it off I turn it off every time I don't leave it on I turn it off I go to bed wake up in the morning at 7 uh, turn it back on to try to use it and nothing the same issues no good communication no awesome sound super grainy so then I went ahead and started testing what would happen if I left it connected at night while I was sleeping? Wake up in the morning, sounds great. Get home from school, sounds terrible. I have to hook it back up. So then I use it, and after those 30 to 45 minutes of use at night, I turn it off and put it on the charger. So first I was checking to see, first I did it two days where I didn't hook it up on the charger at night, and then I started hooking it up before I went to bed so that it would be fully charged in the morning. The instruction booklet on this claims that there should be a standby time of two weeks. There is not even 
a 24-hour standby capability on this speaker right now. So I'm very disappointed. I extremely dislike products that are good enough to last it so that it goes beyond the time that you can return it. Because the seller, um, what was their name again? Uh, Excellent Electronics is through Amazon, and Amazon has such high quality of customer service and uh, possibilities of return when you do have an issue. I went ahead and reached out to them to see if they would replace the unit, and they said that I was beyond the uh, return time, so they would not help me. So, yeah. I was a bit disappointed if they're selling with Amazon. I feel that they should be up to par to Amazon standard. And, you know, I've returned things even two months later with Amazon if it breaks or if it has an issue. So I felt very displeased with them. Um, the instructions do not list any warranty information, so I am still going to make an attempt to reach out to the manufacturer and see if they will replace this, or probably replace it. If not, I will be going with a Amazon fulfilled product in the future, and if possible, even an Amazon Basics uh, Bluetooth speaker because I just I've had really good experiences with uh, Amazon basic products and overall dealing with Amazon directly or Amazon uh, fulfilled items so again the Avalon uh, Bluetooth waterproof and allegedly shockproof speaker displeased worked long enough to get out of the time that I could return it now that I'm not able to return it, I have to scour the internet for uh, manufacturing and warranty information to see if there's anything that can be done or if I just flushed my money down the toilet. Thankfully, it was not a lot of money, but still, I don't like to flush any money down the toilet. So, two thumbs down thus far. I will keep you guys updated if I find any information with regards to the warranty and or the manufacturer, whether it's positive or negative. I will let you guys know. See you on the next one, and don't forget to subscribe.